Today, I want to share with you my essential fine jewelry pieces. Now, I am thinking to downsize my jewelry collection, so in this video, I'll only be sharing the pieces which I intend to keep for a long time. I love jewelry, but I also believe in building a functional and practical collection. For me, the best way to build a collection is by owning a selection of pieces that we love wearing over and over again. I only own one luxury watch, which is my Rolex Datejust 31 in stainless steel and with diamond dials and white gold bezel. I got this watch as a push present about 7 years ago. In the first few years after I received this generous gift, I didn't find myself reaching for it all that much. However, in the last 2 years, it has been really growing on me and now I really enjoy wearing it. I think the design for this watch is absolutely timeless. In fact, I can see myself wearing the same watch in my 50s, 60s and beyond. I think the size 31 fits my wrist perfectly. Personally, I'm not really into oversized watches. This is my husband's Rolex GMT, which is in the size 40mm. I know a lot of ladies love wearing this watch, but I think it looks a bit too overwhelming on me. When it comes to fine jewelry, I definitely have a soft spot for earrings. Personally, I don't really like very eye-catching necklaces, but I quite like my earrings to make a bit of a statement. I hope you love earrings as much as I do because I have quite a selection here to share with you. First of all, these are the Van Cleef and Apples Sweet Alhambra earrings. I went for the onyx stones because I really like the contrast between the black color and the yellow gold. I feel like even though I have very dark hair, these earrings still stand out in a very classy way. I actually really like the Van Cleef Vintage Alhambra earrings too, but they are quite dressy, whereas the Sweet Alhambras are a lot more wearable and versatile. The second pair of earrings I want to share with you today are these Tiffany & Co Celeste Diamond Earrings in Rose Gold. Each earring features a main diamond in the center, surrounded by 12 other tiny diamonds. I've always said, a pair of diamond earrings can serve you really well, even if you're trying to build a very minimalist jewelry collection. I mean, something like these will always look great for either job interviews, weddings, parties, or even just for day-to-day. Talking about diamonds, I'm so excited to share some diamond earrings from Idol with you guys. I've been following their brand for 2 years, so when they reached out to me, I was overjoyed because I truly adore their designs. All their pieces have a very minimalist feel, but at the same time, they look so chic and just one of a kind. Here, I'm wearing the base earring, which is a simple diamond stud. These come in three sizes and they are beautiful on their own. But the best part is you can easily take it up a notch by adding one of their stunning add-on pieces. And you'll be glad to know there's quite a selection to choose from. Here, I'm wearing the Lucia, which is so lovely. I just know this is something I wear a lot. This is Jade. As you can see, just by adding another round diamond, it creates a completely different look. I love how simple yet unique this is. This is Emma. The emerald diamond gives it a lot of character in my opinion. And this is Uma, a statement piece for sure, but yet so wearable. All idol pieces are handmade with 14 karat solid gold. Their ethos is to create beautiful and sustainable jewelry, 
which is why all their pieces feature lab-grown diamonds. Now they have the same sparkles and clarity like mined diamonds, but they only cost a fraction of the price. I really love the concept of this brand. I know their pieces are loved by a lot of big celebrities such as Jessica Alba and Eva Longoria, but I truly think this brand deserves more attention from jewelry lovers. Now Idol has kindly given me a discount code for 10% off to share with you guys and I'll make sure to leave it down below. The last pair of earrings I want to share with you today are these very simple pearl stud earrings. I've been enjoying them a lot lately. I used to think pearls were very formal and they look a bit serious, but I've completely changed my mind. Now I would describe pearls as elegant, classy and timeless. As much as I love them though, I still don't think pearls are as versatile as diamonds. So if I had to choose between the two options to build a very minimalist jewelry collection, my choice would be diamonds. Moving on to necklace. This is my everyday go-to necklace, which is the Van Cleef and Apples Sweet Alhambra necklace in rose gold. I love it because it's simple, low key and so easy to style. This necklace really does go with every outfit in my opinion. I intentionally went for rose gold instead of mother of pearl or other precious stones because I wanted something that's quite easy to care for. Honestly, I wear this in the shower, I wear perfume on a daily basis and I even got caught in the rain several times but this necklace is still holding up really well. There's hardly any sign of wear and tear that I can see. Some people asked if I've noticed any fading of the rose gold. So I decided the only way to tell for sure is to compare the necklace to my Bunkley Vintage Alhambra bracelet in rose gold. I don't wear this bracelet that much, so it should be the perfect reference. I'm not sure if it shows that well on the camera, but they look pretty identical to me in terms of the shape. I hope that helps because it is quite a common question I get regarding this Van Cleef necklace. Next, let's look at rings. I wear my Cartier love ring every single day. This one is in rose gold and with diamond pave. I always wear this ring together with my wedding band, which is a half eternity diamond ring with white gold. I personally don't mind mixing metals for my jewelry. If anything, I really enjoy the contrast. Seeing this is a diamond pave ring, there's a bit of thickness to it. There have been a few rare occasions where I caught my skin ever so slightly on the edge of this ring, but generally it is really comfortable. I mean, I wear this ring every day and most of the time I don't even notice it's there anymore. Having said that, I do quite often look at the ring and think to myself, wow, it is breathtakingly beautiful. Another ring I wear a lot is this classic Cartier love ring in yellow gold. This ring is quite a bit thinner compared to the Cartier love ring with diamond pave and it has quite a flat profile. So I think even people who don't wear a lot of jewelry can easily get used to this. I guess that's why the classic Cartier love ring is such a popular choice for wedding bands. To be honest, I generally prefer Cartier pieces in yellow gold because I think the shade is so vibrant. This is why with all the Cartier pieces I've purchased, they are all in yellow gold. Apart from this Cartier love ring with diamond parfait, I went for rose gold for this piece because I think the rose gold complements the diamonds perfectly. Another ring I wear the most is the Hermes Chain D'Ancre ring in rose gold. I always wear this ring on my index finger together with the classic Cartier love ring. Like I said before, I really enjoy Cartier's yellow gold. But when it comes to Hermes fine jewelry pieces, I prefer their rose gold. 
There's something about their rose gold that really speaks to me. I think it has the perfect shade of pink and is something that will look lovely on any skin tone. The Hermes Chain D'Ancre Ring has a very rounded profile, so it is very comfortable on the skin. The design is very unique and is not as recognizable as the Cartier Love Ring. If you're not into luxury or Hermes, you might just think this is a very interesting ring. I really do enjoy this ring a lot, but it probably wouldn't be the first luxury ring I would purchase for a very small jewelry collection. This video wouldn't be complete if I didn't mention my beloved Hermes CDC bracelet in rose gold. This is definitely one of my most worn luxury jewelry pieces. After welcoming luxury minimalism into my life, I've regretted buying a lot of things, but this bracelet is not one of them. Personally, I've always preferred wearing bangle over bracelet, and when I saw this Hermes bracelet, I kind of knew straight away that this is the one. In fact, I would go as far as saying if I did come across this Hermes bracelet earlier, I probably wouldn't have purchased the Cartier Love bracelet and the Cartier Just On Clue bracelet. Now, there are several reasons why I love this Hermes bracelet. First of all, this is in rose gold. And like I said before, I absolutely adore the Hermes rose gold. Secondly, this bracelet is also really easy to remove and put on. Thirdly, it feels really comfortable to wear. And last but not least, the design is so elegant and chic. So those are some of my most worn luxury jewelry pieces. Now the perfect minimalist jewelry collection will always look different for everyone. For example, like I said before, I'm not really into luxury watches. Therefore, I'm perfectly happy with my one Rolex watch. Meanwhile, I absolutely love earrings, so I won't deny myself the pleasure of owning a small collection. But the caveat is, I have to love wearing every single piece that I own. In fact, please let me know what kind of jewelry do you love splurging on when the time is right? Is it bracelets, earrings, necklaces or rings? I would really love to know, so please share it down below. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day.